Hello! Welcome to the sacristy. This is a place where all the magic happens before mass. Come on in. I'm going to give you a little tour of this incredibly, incredibly awesome place where all the stuff is that we use for mass. So when I come in here before mass, this is where I always come. The servers get ready over in that little first room. This is where I get ready for mass. First thing I do is I take off whatever this is because we have so many layers that we wear, which you're gonna see in just a second, that if I don't take this off, I would get really, really sweaty. All right, so first thing we do is we come in here and then when I open this door, you're gonna see, look at all of these vestments in all the different colors. So, the first thing I'm gonna put on, this is called an alb. A L B in L when it comes up over my head just like that. Next we have a thing called the cincture, which goes on just like this. And now we get to the fun part, which is choosing which chasuble to wear. So this is really fun. You'll see sometimes we wear different colors. So during ordinary time, we wear green. That's the season we're in right now. So in ordinary time, we wear green. If it's a feast of a saint, we wear white. If it's the feast of a saint who was martyred, so they were killed for their faith, we wear red to represent that blood that they shed. And then during Lent and Advent, which are penitential seasons, we wear violet, you can call it purple. So this is one of my favorite ones. So I'm just gonna wear this one for right now. This is called a stole, S-T-O-L-E. It's called a stole. I had one time that I was at a place and I accidentally grabbed a stole that belonged to another priest and he came up to me and he called me a stole stealer. I gave it right back. So you put on the stole, and then you have the chasuble, which is this guy right here, which is basically just kind of this big piece of cloth with this hole on top. The fun thing is you can do this, and you can go, hey everybody, right? Which is, of course is just really goofy, but I like making you guys laugh. So this is the chasuble, right? Which is what the priest wears. Now, fun thing, Priest wears a chasuble. A deacon wears what's called a, this is not where well, the deacon's vestments are. The deacon's vestments are in here. And the deacon wears what is called a dalmatic, right? They look similar, but if you see mine, it's just simply a large piece of material with a hole through the top. A deacon wears a dalmatic, which you see actually has sleeves, right? This is the reason why, this is really fun. So in Rome, which was where a lot of the liturgy was growing, where different vestments began to be, is this like almost 2000 years ago, people who were really poor, they couldn't afford to have really nice clothes, right? This requires a lot more tailoring, a lot more stitching. Like, so the people who were poor, the clothes that they would have, they would just have a tunic, just a cloak that was simply a piece of cloth with a hole through the head, right? This is what some of those poor would wear. Whereas people who had more money and were wealthy, they would have a dalmatic that had a lot more tailoring to it. So the priest, right, wears, uh, wears what some of this poor would wear, and the deacon ends up wearing what somebody that was, was rich would wear. The reason why is because the service of a deacon, and I'm sure we'll talk more about this in later lessons, right? Is that a deacon, their entire role is to serve, right? They serve. And God, Jesus, when he came, he said, the son of man did not come to be served, but to serve. God is the highest of us all, right? And Jesus came, he wasn't like, I'm the greatest, so please serve me. He said, no, no. I have to serve you. 
that the greatest among you have to serve the least. So the deacon who's in the role of service actually wears what somebody who is rich would wear. Because the higher up we are, we need to not say, oh, serve me. The, the more important someone is, the more God is saying you have the ability to serve, right? Which is so beautiful. So that's just a little difference between a chasuble and an dogmatic. So when I'm vested like this, as a priest, of course, we have the liturgy of the word that we talked about two weeks ago. And last week, we talked about the liturgy of the Eucharist. But what are the actual things we use during the liturgy of the Eucharist? This is so much fun. Look at, I'll show you right in here. Look at all these fancy things in here that we use for mass. I'm gonna pull out my chalice, which this is really fun for anyone who's ordained a priest. There's a, a tradition that your parents actually buy you a chalice. This is really, really expensive, right? So the first thing that we use that's kind of within the things this is called a corporal, and at mass on the altar, it gets unfolded. Then you have, whoop, this thing called a pall that just kind of goes on top. The reason for this actually, um, <clears throat> a long time ago, churches, a lot of churches kind of were like, this is a long time ago. A lot of churches kind of like were open air. They weren't in nice church buildings like this. So the reason, honestly, why we would have this was so that when the the wine and water that go in here get turned into Jesus' blood, it was so that if there were flies, the flies wouldn't come in and get it. So you just, like, cover it, right? So and then this is called the paten. The paten is what the, the Eucharist goes on top of, the bread that turns into Jesus' body. And then, of course, we have the chalice. Now, this chalice is actually consecrated right? Before it was used for the first time, the bishop used it, and actually there was oil that got smeared in it to consecrate it. When something is consecrated, it means that it is set apart for a specific use. Now, what is beautiful is not only is the chalice consecrated, you at your baptism are actually anointed with oil and you're consecrated for the Lord, that your life has a special purpose that God is calling you to use your life for. So right now, if I were to be like, oh, I really feel like drinking a Coca-Cola. And if I had the night cracked open and I'm gonna drink, I'm like, you know what? Sometimes people are like, oh, would you like a glass for that? Sure, right? Here's the thing, if I had a can of Coke right now and I had this, do you think it would be a good idea for me to pour that Coke in here and be like, ooh, I'm gonna drink Coke out of this chalice? You might be like, that'd be really cool. I'm like, mm, no, it wouldn't be really cool, right? Because it's consecrated. It's set apart for a special use, for a special purpose, right? that this is, it's set apart, it's sacred, and it's meant to be used to hold Jesus's precious blood, right? That's why a chalice has to be made from precious metal, right? Either gold or silver or bronze, it has to be made from a precious metal because there's something so beautiful, right? The most beautiful thing that we have, Jesus's blood, is, is held within it. So I'm not gonna take a plastic sippy cup and take that up to the altar and consecrate Jesus' blood because it's not it's not sacred, it's not set apart, right? Just in the same way, I wouldn't take that apple juice that you put in a sippy cup, I'm not gonna drink that out of this because it's sacred and it's set apart. Same thing, your life, you're consecrated, you're set apart. We're not supposed to live our lives just for an, in an ordinary way or an ordinary purpose. We're supposed to, to pray and dedicate our entire lives to God. And then the final thing that I'll show you is actually out here. And in here, this is where we have the ciborium. And you'll see we have all these like cases for these things and stuff. That's because this stuff is really special and we keep our special stuff nice, right? And the ciborium, this is what we use at Mass that this would have. And right now it's empty, but at Mass would have all the hosts. And that's what we end up consecrating and distributing everything from. So I hope you enjoyed this time in the sacristy. I hope you enjoyed learning about just some of the different vestments that we wear, learning about the things that we use. Um, and I hope you enjoy your lesson because there's a lot more to learn. So enjoy, have a great rest of your day.